Hey, this is Eddie from Wonderlish, and in this short video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to install our GT and GTL engine protection bars. Let's get started. All right, so now that we have the bolts out, the six by 45 millimeter bolt goes in here with the six millimeter washer and the seven millimeter steel spacer. Where the cap came out, this bolt's gonna be a 10 by 60 with a 10 millimeter washer and a 10 by 35 millimeter spacer. And then here, there's a spacer that came out. You're gonna remove that spacer and the engine bar is going to sit under the case and then the light bar bracket is going to mount on top. It's the same thickness as the spacer that came out so that's going to make up the difference. And then we're going to bolt in the original bolt that came out. And make sure on all the fasteners it's very important to use Loctite. Let's get started. So on this front fastener, it's kind of hard to get to. Um, what I ended up using was two extensions and then a wobble drive with a T45 bit. I was able to get it up from the bottom of the bike and then I got it nice and snug and torqued down to spec. All right, so now we got everything nice and hand tight with a little bit of thread locking fluid on each bolt. Now it's time to go back and torque each bolt to spec. So starting from the back, this is gonna be nine millimeters, the six millimeter bolt. This is gonna be 26 millimeters, this 10 millimeter bolt. The eight millimeter bolt in the front is gonna be 16 Newton beaters. All right, let's get everything torqued down. All right, now that we got all three bolts torqued down, let's move on to the right side. All right, now we're done with the left side, we're moving on to the right. Um, we're gonna be taking out the fasteners. So the tools you're gonna need, you're gonna need a T30 for this six millimeter bolt here. You're gonna be removing this plug, and then you're also gonna be removing this upper screw with the T45 that holds on your auxiliary light, if you have an auxiliary light. So let's get started.
All right, and so now that we have the hardware out of the bike, now it's time to install the bar. The rear mounting point takes the six millimeter bolt with a six millimeter washer with the steel spacer. Um, where the plug came out, you're gonna use the 10 millimeter bolt with the 10 millimeter washer and the 10 millimeter spacer. And then the front mount, you're gonna be reusing the existing bolt and you're gonna be sandwiching in the supplied spacer between the auxiliary light mount and the engine bar. And then you're gonna be tightening it up with the stock bolt. You wanna be sure to use medium grade th thread locking fluid on all the hardware going in. And that's pretty much it. Let's get everything nice and finger tight. Then we'll go back and torque everything to spec. All right, now we have everything finger tight. Now it's time to go and torque everything back to spec. So the back bolt is going to be nine newton meters. The middle bolt, 10 millimeter bolt is gonna be 26 newton meters. And the front eight millimeter bolt is gonna be 16 newton meters. All right, so there you have it. There is the installation video of the K1600 GT and GTL engine protection bars. If you want any additional information on these protection bars, please visit us at www.wunderlishamerica.com.